Come on, stove. Let's go see what that is. Hold on, little fox. Skeeter get you out of that trap. First, Hoss. Get you to the house now. Help him first. Sit down, I'll be right there. For you, share of the trap money. Forget it. There ain't any. Somebody emptied all my traps. I mean, the last living one of them. Uh, it ain't the money, Stoney. You know who it was? That stinking Skeeter. He thinks more of them animals than he does of the man who fills his belly. Now where is that bottle, Stoney? Skeeter's at our place. He's hurt. Oh, now, ain't that just too bad? He ain't hurt bad, but I figured you probably won't see him. He's your son. He's my stepson! You got half a brain at that. <laughs> oh. All right, all right, I'll go see the little... I'll sell your horse. Stinking 
Big Bird eat more than you. What's the matter? You don't like Hop Sing's cooking? Just ain't hungry, that's all. Mr. Horse, come back with your father pretty soon. Skeeter, here's your ball. You want to eat this, Mr. Horse? Oh, I reckon I can manage that, Hop Sing. Hey, well, won't you uh, get another plate and some coffee here for Stoney, huh? Yes, sir. Right away. You emptied them traps, didn't you? Boy, you're gonna answer me. Think that trap cut you up? Just wait till I get through with you. Now answer me! Your pa's talking to you, son. Answer you, Paul. Beat some brains into you, you... No, Stoney. Stoney! 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 do them anymore. I'm getting out of here. You hear that, boy? You can come back to that pig of a woman who put you. You ain't got a brain, she got no heart. You ought to make a good match. All right, Stoney. Come on. You said you were leaving now. Let's go. Come on. Ask me. Wait a minute. I tell your father. Stoney don't need his charity no more. I'm going up north where I belong. Skeeter. His name's Stove. Stove and me are going to the barn. How come you stuck up for me? Well, he's gonna hurt you, son. did like him either, did you, Stowe? Huh? Yeah, I can tell when you like somebody. Yeah. You like me, don't you? Huh? If you could talk, you'd tell me. Oh, Skeeter, he's the most important person in the world, you say. Yeah. Wish you could talk, Stowe. Skeeter, are you in here? Oh. Well, I wasn't hurting anything. Well, didn't say you was. But it's getting along about supper time. And you sure can't share old Penny's supper with her. Hey, have you met Penny? No. Come here, man. <coughs> Skeeter, meet Ponderosa Penny. <coughs> She's gonna have herself a baby in about two weeks. Oh, Big man, huh? Yeah, one of the best. Some of the best blood in the world. Little Joe, as a matter of fact, won a first prize championship with her last year and would have again this year, but she up and hurt that knee. <coughs> Swole up, must hurt. 
You like animals, don't you? Where's little Joe? He's back at Denver for rodeo. Is it okay if I sleep in the barn tonight? I reckon that could be arranged if, if you'll come on to supper now. I'm willing. Come on. Come on, Stove. Stove, this here's Ponderosa Penny. She's a friend. Don't let them get friends, huh? Yeah. Come on. Where's Mr. Horse? Everybody all time late. Oh, he and Ski will be in for breakfast in a little while. Thank you, Elsie. Where's Skeeter? Well, he's gone. That's what I come to tell you. Just like that. Abracadabra, he's gone. He's a funny fellow, kid. It's, he never answers questions. He seems like he talks more sense to animals than he does humans. Well, it's not surprising, considering everything. You better have yourself some breakfast. Hop Singh's been yelling. I'll eat later, Paul. I think I better find this kid. I'll see. I couldn't have another helping. Why, well, just about bust. It sure was a good supper, though. I bet Ma makes about the best sweet potatoes in the world, don't she? Why, Pa, shoot, you ain't getting fat, no. You're just big and strong, I'd say. You sure do look nice, Ma. Pretty as a picture. You want your pipe, Pa? Well, stay put. Let me get it for you. I should be getting you your pipe all the time now. Pay you back for all them peppermint sticks you bought me. Here, let me light it for you. Oh, shoot. I'm old enough to handle matches now, I guess. You taught me all about that. Hi, Skeeter. do that, son. I gotta ask you a question. Where's your ma? Dead. She's dead. That ain't what Stoney told me yesterday. I don't want to see her. That ain't what it looked to me like back there in that cabin, either. Stove's back there. I gotta go. Now, you listen to me, Skeeter. I ain't gonna let you go on hiding with that bird. I didn't give up chasing you this time, and I won't the next time. You're gonna take me to your ma, and you might as well make your peace with that. You'll see then. You'll see. That's her. You wait back down the hall. Dexter? Miss Dexter? Oh. 
Lost Cartwright. Oh, who'd have thought it? I must be moving up in the world. I want to talk to you about Skeeter. I need to talk uh, to you. Oh, hey. It's about Skeeter. I got him outside out there. None of my concern. Stoney looks after him. Well, that's, that's just it, Miss Dexter. Mrs. Dexter. Stoney left him. Stoney's gone. So? So you're the boy's mother. Now that I heard the sermon, what am we gonna say? How come you're butting in? I'm worried about the boy. Oh, well, I'm worried about me. The boy's 16 years old. I was his age. I've been carrying him for three months. I made it alone. <laughs> Let him do it. He needs somebody. Well, then why don't you buy him a mother? You cart rides. You buy everything else in this town. Why don't you buy him that if you're so worried? What'd he ever do to you? He got born. Got me married to a man that ran off before Skeeter ever even drew a breath. Got me so desperate, I thought maybe Stoney could help. What did he do? He got me here! You better make tracks before I start ruining your lily white reputation around this town. You can take that kid and put him in a sack and throw it in the river for all I care. He gave me pain when I had him and it ain't stopped yet! I told you, Hoss. I just don't understand a woman like that. She gives birth to that boy, and then she hates him. Does she? Oh, if you'd have seen her and heard her, you wouldn't have to ask that question. She's a woman, Hoss. No, she ain't. She's something else. Maybe there's a time when she was a woman, but not anymore. She's filled with nothing but hatred and meanness. I can't believe that. Hoss. A woman may say that she hates her child. She may even tell the child she hates it. But I don't think she can ever forget that she was once part of a miracle. And she was once as close to God as anybody can ever get. I don't think Skeeter's mother can forget that, although she may want to. Why would she want to? Well, she was... Just a young girl. I guess she was no one about 16. She met this fellow. He wasn't much good. But they got married, and Skeeter was born, and then the fellow disappeared, lit out. And every time she looks at Skeeter, she sees the boy's father. She hates him. Hates Skeeter. What are you making, anyhow? Oh, I'm just making a perch. Mosquitoes crow. Bed? Hey, yeah. Hey, Paul. I want to show you something. It's 
It's like a bit too soft. Try it. It's Penny, Mr. Cartwright. She caught her bad leg in the stall railing. I tried to get her out, but I think it's broke. Yeah, get into the house. Where are the other boys? They ain't come back yet. She's scared crazy, Mr. Cartwright. I tried, but she's gonna kill that boy. Skeeter, get in the house. Skeeter. Quiet down now, Penny. You gotta quiet down. Skeeter, get out of there. Come on. Easy, girl. Easy, Benny. Get over here now. Get over the leg. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward, Benny. Move forward, Benny. Let's give this important. Listen, we're going to try to move her forward. If we do, we can get her leg out. But you're going to have to guide her. Understand? What if we don't get her out? She could lose her fall. Come on, Hoss. Move forward, Benny. burn you, Penny, you may be a female. But you ain't no lady, that's for dang sure. She ain't putting no weight on that foot, that's for sure. She sure ain't. Easy, girl. Easy. It ain't broken, but there's a lot of stuff tore up inside, though. Oh, so you think we can fix her up with some hot water and Epsom salts? Maybe. All this excitement, Paul. I'm sure afraid she's gonna slip that coat. Sure as a whirl. Yeah. Well, see if you can bet her down. I'll get one of the boys to get Doc Woods. You don't need a doc. I can take care of her. Skeeter, she needs a doc. Bring that pail inside. I'll get Hop Saint to boil up some water. Hey, Hoss. Will you fetch the water so I can stay with her? I think she's gonna need somebody. Don't hurt so much when somebody's with you, you know. You sure you want to do that, Skeeter? It's three hours to sun up. I'm sure. Besides, Penny wants me to stay, don't you, girl? Yeah, I reckon she does, Dad. Easy, girl. Back up now. Back up. Come on. Easy. Easy does it. Easy. Easy on that foot. Easy. There you go. Don't worry, that leg will get better. Mine is, too. Don't you worry, old girl. My leg's getting better, and so are yours. I'm gonna help you. Yeah. Hi, Doc. Hi, Oz. Thanks for coming so quick. No problem. Hey, uh, how's the hand, buddy? Well, it's broke, Hoss. Yeah, burn ain't that the luck. Hop Saint's got some hot coffee in there. Go ahead and get something. Hey, Thank you. you fix that? I didn't know you was a people doctor, too. <laughs> no, Doc Harris did it. Mayor in the barn? Yeah. He tried some Epsom salts and hot water, but that didn't seem to be any good. Well, I'll keep him quiet, it's the main thing. Yeah. Kid's out of here. Skeeter? Well, where is she? I don't know. But I'm gonna skin that Skeeter alive. What are you talking about? Skeeter! Skeeter, Dexter! Skeeter? Is that Joy, son? Yeah. Now, Penny, 
Don't that feel better, huh? Yeah. You keep still while I get the bottle set up, okay? Penny won't have that mushmelon leg when I get done with her. I guess I better go to Taryn. I'm fixing Penny's leg. Yeah. Skeeter, this is Doc Woods. Howdy. Nice to meet you. You the vet, ain't you? Yep. But, uh, seems I'm not the only one in the area. Well, you're doing a fine job, Skeeter. Your mother be proud of you. My mother? Yep. She's a friend of mine. Yeah, well, hey, uh, look, Skeeter, maybe maybe the doc understands all you're doing here, but I don't. Won't you go down and explain it to me? Doc, the boy's pretty sensitive about his mom. Nothing wrong with Joy Dexter that a little understanding wouldn't cure. Hey, Hoss. You see, I got her in the water here to get some cold on that leg. Now I come on up here, I put some sun on it with this. See? Like, like starting a fire. And then I pack that leg up with mud, and then I wrap it up with this. Well, you're asleep, and I didn't want to wake you up. That's mighty considerate of you. <laughs> this is really fine, Skeeter. But you didn't have to bother putting heat on the knee. Just cooling her out's enough. Fine job, anyway. Thanks. Doc, you mean all the stuff that Skeeter's been doing here is right? Right as rain. But we're gonna need real help taking her back to town. Back to town? What do we have to take her to town for? Well, we're gonna board Penny at my place till she drops the foal. Look, Skeeter, Penny's a pretty sick horse. But you said I was doing a good job. Both of you said so. Well, Skeeter, you are doing a good job, but, but you ain't no doctor. You said she wanted me to stay with her, and now he wants to take her to town, and you're gonna let him go. It's for Penny's own good. But it ain't. I can tend her as well as you can, better. Skeeter, I'm a vet, and I... You don't love her like I do. I know you love her better than I do, but I can help her more. Hoss, Penny wants me to be with her. I can sleep right here, and I'll tend that leg like anything, and, and, and I'll read books and, and read up on it. Oh, Hoss, please. Dad burn it, Skeeter, I'd say, yeah, just like that, if Penny is well, but under the circumstances, I... I was lying anyway. I don't give two hoots about that horse. You know what I hope? I hope she slips that foal and dies doing it. Come back here, Skeeter, let me explain. Let the boy have her. What? Doc, would that be taking off a big chance? Maybe. But Skeeter's had a life of people taking things from him. I want to give him something. Yeah. Get on back. Tell Horse what to do. I think he's going to let you keep the mare. Thanks, Horse. Horse. Come quick. 
Skeeter, you have a way of scaring people half to death. <laughs> calm, calm down, Skeeter. You know, old mares have had coats before, son. But, but something's wrong, Hoss. It ain't going like it oughta. What do you think, Paul? This is normal labor. She'll be all right, won't she? I don't know, Skeeter. Well, get Doc Woods, then. We gotta get Doc Woods. Hoss, on my way. Be right there. You're late. Hold outside. Tea's ready. That'll warm you up. Only fair to warn you that I'm going to win tonight. I'll get the cups. You always forget the scorecard when I'm ahead. I got the tally book right here. I saw Skeeter at the Cartwrights. Taking real good care of him. Your lead, Joy. When I started coming here, we agreed just to play cards. I don't ask you to talk about Bertha. Bertha's been dead for seven years. Talking won't change that. Skeeter's alive. He's more alive and growing every day. He's almost a man. Funny, I can't think of Skeeter as a man. Only as a baby. Well, that's natural for a mother. It's funny what you remember about kids. When Skeeter was about four years old, I I asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up. And he wrinkled his little brow and he looked up at me and he said, I want to be a tree. Because he looked around and he saw what people were. He decided that the only good thing living was a tree. Because it was a part of the earth. And it didn't hurt anything. He was silly about things even then. That's not silly, Joy. I knew a boy like that once, so all he could think of were things like that. He turned out all right. Marry me, Joy. Let me love you. Stoney's deserted you. We need each other. Skeeter needs both of us. But why... Why would you want someone... 
Because I see me and Skeeter. And I love you. Doc! Doc, you there? Yeah? Oh, Doc, it's me, Hoss. I'll be right there. Doc, it's Penny. She's in real bad trouble. We need you quick. I'll put on my coat. I'll be right with you. Is Skeeter out there now? Yes, ma'am. He's there with my paw. Can I go with you? Not until you put on your wrap. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland before you. But I and my true love will never meet again. On the money, money makes on Loch that singing's just a tonic to her. Yeah, she, uh, she seems to like it, all right. We've been keeping her pretty quiet, Doc. Hello, Skeeter. What's she doing here? I brought her along to help. Well, I can help you. Besides, this ain't no place for a woman. Oh, Skeeter, it might be just a place for a woman. You get me that wheelbarrow? Right, Doc. It's liable to be a long siege. Why don't you go get us some coffee? That's a good idea. Hop Singh's in the kitchen. He'll help you. All right. Want to wrap the tail? Yeah. Would you get on that? Well, I should get by her head, right. hold her down. Right, Doc. Skeeter, you pour this alcohol over my hands. Yes, sir. Plenty on that. That's it. How you feeling? Scared? A little bit. Blood bother you? No, sir. All right. You're my assistant. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Be a good mama. Lay down. Come on now, Penny. Down you go. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. All the way down. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good girl. Bring your head over. Come on. Come on. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. That's a good girl. There we go. There we are. All right, Skeeter. You finish wrapping the tail. Easy, Penny. Easy. Easy, girl. It's a good girl. Sure, you'll be fine. It's a breach, Ben. What's a breach? It's where the, it's where the fold backwards. You can help her, can't you, Doc? Yeah, if I can get to the fold. <laughs> Easy, Penny. Come on, fold. It's not such a bad world that you have to. Back into it? Relax, baby. Come on, Penny. Relax. Come on, girl. I can't get to the foe. Ben, you'll have to make the decision. It's either Penny or the foe. Mr. Cartwright, please. Ben, we haven't got much time. Both, I say both. It's impossible. You're the doctor, you do something about it. That's my decision. Look, she won't relax. Well, do something to relax her. 
Skeeter, there's a black case in my bag. Bring it and the alcohol. Swab her neck, then. What are you gonna do? Tracheotomy. She can't bear down if she can't hold her breath. Easy. Pour some alcohol on that. Right. I'm doing this your way, Ben. We've got one chance in ten. Now hold her. Yeah. Grab her ear. Easy, baby. Cut now. Hold it. Hold it. All right, keep holding. Keep that opening clean. Skeeter, quick. stuff away. Come on, quick, 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 clean it away. Hurry up. That's it. I got a hold. All right. Come on. Turn around. Turn around, fool. Come on. Come on, Doc, look. I know, I know. Keep working. Here, help, pull, pull. Oh, hurry up, more. <clears throat> oh, Doc, he's beautiful. He's dead. I'm sorry. Fool's dead, Ma. I'm so sorry. looking for all I've ever seen. Penny, you know what we're going to do for that boy of yours? We're going to feed him. Read that for me, please. Thanks. There. Now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Here you are. Hey, what are we going to name it? How about Skeeter? After me? Um, well, I thought the Cartwrights might like to use it. It's a, it's a good name for a pet or a, or a boy. You're not going to be needing it anymore. Uh, Skeeter, what is your real name? I don't think you ever got around to telling us, did you? Charles William Dexter. Good name for a man. A little more then. <laughs> well, he's getting his breakfast. What about us? Well, I thought that I'd uh, take Skeeter, uh, Charles. And his mother into town for breakfast. How's that sound, Charles? That sounds fine, but we just got to come back later to see about Penny and the Colt. Well, I think that can be arranged. Uh, ben, I'll stop by LG's and see about a nurse mare for a few days. <laughs> the way this one is eaten, I don't know if you're going to need a nurse mare. Well, just a few more stitches, and we'll be on our way. Oh, Skeeter's really growing up, ain't he? Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> 